guys thank you so much for joining me in another video so as you can tell based on the title i have two unboxings from phoebe philo this is honestly so long overdue long story short i had made an order from the first drop and they canceled it and if i'm gonna be honest i'm okay with that it was like kind of a blessing in disguise the two items i picked i don't know if you were there on the website but if you were like me you kept seeing things going out of stock super quickly i knew that it was going to sell out but i did not expect a lot of these items to sell out within 10 minutes when they announced the second drop i was like okay we're gonna be prepared i kept refreshing the website and it was where i'm at eastern time zone it was literally dinner time the collection was released so i was like you know what we're gonna make one order at a time that's how we're gonna do it another thing about me is i'm in canada so i used a package forwarding service this is my first time i hope all goes well they had to inspect the package hopefully this is a good experience i made one order and then i was like okay let's make another order i was feeling very confident Phoebe Philo did send me not only we've received your order because they'll send you that email first But then they sent me the confirmation of the order and then I got the DHL Confirmation just FYI if you're Canadian like me and you're wondering about how I did this if I'm gonna be honest I don't really feel that comfortable using package forwarding services I feel a lot of them don't really have good reviews when people often review things nine times out of ten It's out of like a negative experience this place the reviews were not glowing But when you think about it, there's a greater chance for some something to go wrong during the delivery of your parcel, be it the initial company or when it's at the package forwarding place, you have to ship it out again. And the one I used, you can choose where you wanna get it shipped through. I used DHL, which was the initial company that Phoebe Philo used. And so I decided I would use DHL again. When I look at these reviews, how many middlemen are handling your package? And then it also has to go to customs through Canada. So with DHL, you have to pay your customs before they release your package. So holidays, way more things are being sent in the mail. There's a lot more more people handling this one package. My packages, both of them have arrived. I have yet to see everything is good to go. I was kind of nervous about this. There are two items that I'm currently looking at getting and if all goes well, this is a good experience, I will get them. I have an accessory and a ready to wear item I am wanting to get, but I just do not want to go crazy. This is just my first time. And one other point that I also need to state about ordering as a Canadian is the credit card. You have to change your billing address to a US billing address because when you put in that information they're only going to allow you to put a u.s billing address so you can't put your canadian it's not open for international orders i would suggest changing your billing address for your credit card company be mindful if you have any other payments coming out if it could affect those if you even just change it for 24 hours just for when you need to make this purchase wait till the order is confirmed and then change it that's another thing to keep in mind and fyi they just did another i don't want to say like a drop there are some items that were listed as available soon so some of those items are now in stock as well as they've restocked some of the items if you go check out the phoebe philo website right now the stock is pretty good a lot of things have sold out but they have replenished some things just do the smaller package first. It's all sealed up with regular tape. When I got my package sent through this package forwarding service, I have to declare the value of the item because of customs. So here is the box. So this is, I believe, the like package forwarding box. Here is this. So this is how to return a product, a paper envelope here. And this is just more information about the product, I guess. So that's that as well. A care guide. So here's the first item. I bet you can tell based on the box what this item is beautiful black box very minimal packaging you probably know what these are here is the item there we go little dust cleaners and it's got the branding here as well so here they are these are the peak sunglasses let's give them a try oh my gosh I actually really like them so cool very much a nod to old Celine. These are very similar to the Edge sunglasses. The difference is, of course, the rims are a little bit thicker on these ones. I remember wanting the Eve's Klein blue ones. A lot of people actually wore these back in the day. Rosie Huntington Whiteley to Haley Bieber to Mary Kate Olsen to Sophia Ritchie. What's very interesting is there's no branding on the sides though, only on the interior. So she's gone very minimal, very quiet luxury. So yeah, anyways, I think these are so cool. 
I think these are so cool. I'm such a fan of sunglasses. I know people probably think they're not worth it, but I'm someone who wears sunglasses every day. I'm someone that doesn't like to put makeup on every day either. The second item I had purchased, and those sunglasses, by the way, they were from the first drop, but the second item was something that came from the second drop. I had remember seeing the pictures of these and I was like, I want this item so badly. If I were to get anything of this sort of item, these were actually the ones I really wanted. So this is another one of these return paper just like red sticker or something so here's the box yeah it's got like this like how to recycle the box you can probably tell what kind of item this is one dust bag we have a second dust bag which is nice there are some brands where they only give you one here's another one of these care cards so it talks about phoebe philo shoes pretty standard care instructions with this so here these are and I am so obsessed with these. These are the naked sandals. So again, these are a nod, a reference to her work at Old Celine, which referenced the nude sandals. So these I got in a size 36, which is my true size. It's all leather upper, leather sole, leather lined. You can tell based on that symbol. And the branding is just embossed or debossed like that. They did sell out very quickly. Check these out. I always wanted to get the nude ones, but every time I check them on pre-loved sites, I really kind of struggle with buying shoes pre-loved. I don't know, maybe it's just that I've been traumatized from like selling shoes in the past, seeing people's feet. There are some things I just, I can't buy pre-loved unless it's new. So while I've seen these come up on pre-loved websites, I've always wanted them new. They've always gone for a, kind of a crazy price. I will buy other things pre-loved, but shoes kind of scare me. These sunglasses were $4.50, and these, they were expensive. They were $1,100. I could not stop thinking about these, like when I saw the images. Initially, my first order that got canceled, I had wanted the boots, but I don't know, I like these so much more. I saw a really great video from a YouTuber, Carolyn Gray, and she like actually got these in the red. They look stunning. Oh my gosh, I was so close to getting the red. I can't even tell you. The red are absolutely stunning, but she got them and she was wearing them with tabby socks and they just looked so phenomenal. And two other YouTubers to mention, Jamie from Lux Petite and Layla Sophia both have unboxings of these items. So I will link their channels and videos in the description box below. Super happy that I picked up these items. One item that is truly living rent free in my head actually two items, but I'm not gonna get them, but I just wanna talk to you guys about them. I just love that scarf trench coat. I know it's so expensive. It's like $6,200. I can't fathom spending that kind of money on a coat like that, but it is so beautiful. I'm also really loving the Kit Cabas, specifically in the calf hair. It brings back old Celine with like the furry accessories. And also another YouTuber just recently did an unboxing of Phoebe Philo. She also got the Kit Cabas as well as the trench coat. A few sweaters and some pants but there's two other items that I know I'm gonna purchase I hope they're still in stock when I was checking the website a moment ago they were still in stock so I'm gonna go purchase them a piece of ready to wear and another accessory so yes yeah, so that is my order thank you so much for joining me in another one and I hope to see you in the next one bye